I want you to start to rely on rules, not willpower. I'll say that again. I want you to rely on rules, not willpower. Willpower can be extinguished, willpower can technically run out. Um, there's a whole another lesson with, with willpower, and there's actually a really cool book about willpower uh, that I would recommend, but we'll table that for now. Because what I'd rather you do is instead of relying on willpower to get through certain fat loss habits and getting through your diet and getting through the stuff that you need to do, I want you to rely on rules. And this is why people who take on like a keto diet, people who take on paleo, people who take on vegan diets, people who take on really any of these new like green only diet, uh, no white stuff diet, cabbage diet, whatever it is, uh, these, these are rules that you're placing on yourself. So instead of having to sort of say, no, I can't have that, no, I can't have that, no, I can't have that, even though there's no rule against it, uh, what you want to do is create that rule. So it's easy to start to say, oh, I'm not gonna have anything that's white. And, and every time you're looking at your food, you look, okay, is it white? Oh, I can't have it. So I can't have my salt, I can't have my sugar, I can't have my flour, things that tend to make you wanna eat anyways, but that's beside the point. And what you're doing is actually eliminating calories, but you're doing it because you're relying on a rule. In this case, don't eat anything that's white. Um, the same thing goes for vegan, the same thing goes for keto, the same thing goes for paleo, same thing goes for raw, like no matter what, is you're sort of putting a space, a buffer between uh, a, a hunger or seeing a food, like a sort of a trigger and the decision and then actually eating it. So sort of that pause, thinking about does this follow the rules that I have for eating? Yes, no, okay, yes, I can have it, no, I can't have it. Um, that is a lot better than saying willpower is like, yeah, I can have that. I kind of like it. I, I want it. And then after some time, you actually sort of give in to that because there was never any rules. So you're relying on willpower in this case instead of saying, no, I don't eat anything that is not that is too processed. So having a, like a whole foods diet is, is an example of one of the things that work well. So my, my point is that I want you to start relying on rules, not willpower. And this goes for everything. Like, let's say... Uh, you make a rule for yourself that you have to work out on Mondays. No matter what, absolutely doesn't matter. You have to work out on a Monday. That's A, setting up your, your week for success. But B, what it's doing is creating a rule for yourself that you don't have to, to think about, how do I feel today? Should I work out today? No, the rule is Monday. It's Monday. Look at my calendar. I'm, I'm going to work out today. So you're, you're setting rules uh, in place so you can rely on them instead of willpower. So... Start thinking about some rules that you can put in place uh, to help you to, to rely on, on those for success instead of willpower. And, and just a quick note before I finish here is that rules shouldn't feel rigid. Um, maybe rules is not a good, good word for it, but rules and rely on rules will stick in your head if I say that. So rely on rules, not willpower. That will stick in your head a lot more. But the whole point is they're more so guidelines, right? You want to set sort of fat loss habits, keystone habits like I've talked about before, and these are your, your rules that you follow in order for you to make it easier that you don't have to think about it and rely on motivation and willpower. That being said, guys, I want you to make a list for yourself, maybe like two or three things that you're going to start that are sort of your keystone rules that you're going to rely on. Sure.